Hi, everyone, and welcome to I Don't Know What I'm Doing, the podcast where I explain that I don't know what I'm doing and probably neither do you. Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is the first episode of I Don't Know What I'm Doing. This podcast is about what it sounds like it's about. As humans, we really don't know what we're doing. And sure, there's religion, and sure, there's all of that, and that can be a way of living. That is totally fine and amazing. But in reality, everyone is figuring themselves out, and it is a constant journey in doing that. And I'm really excited to talk more about that. Um, these episodes are going to be about 15 minutes long, because if we're being real here, no one really wants to sit down for like an hour and listen to someone blab and talk. Because humans like to talk, and humans have lives outside of just listening to other people talk, which is really fascinating, because now I'm questioning my career choice of being a teacher, because I'm just going to be listening to my kids talk all the time. Anyway, we can get to that on another episode. But this will probably be streaming on YouTube until I can figure out the whole Spotify thing, and Apple Podcasts, and yeah. I seriously have no idea what I'm doing right now. No pun intended. Actually, pun intended. So let's get into the first episode. And I'm going to be talking about chapter books. Now, you may be asking, Sarah, why the heck are you talking about chapter books? This is a podcast. And I'm going to tell you something my therapist has told me, and it has stuck with me for so long, and that is that our lives are like chapter books. I say that because... Our lives are a story, and if you think about it, each part of your life, say you're on a sports team or you're doing something like that, each part of our lives have a chapter, and that chapter can have big moments, small moments, letdowns. It's a whole roller coaster of a story, but that does not mean that your story is over. My life in the past five months has been an emotional roller coaster. We're talking relationships, friendships, jobs, school, all of that stuff. I'm very proud of myself, actually. I got a 4.0 this past semester in my first year of college, which is pretty sick. I did work my butt off for that. But there were some struggles. Life isn't perfect. And if I learned anything with that, it is that no one knows what they're doing. And You can say that, you know what you're doing, but in reality, everyone's learning. I know I was learning a lot. You have your, the start of your story, the, okay, new person, or if it's a relationship, all right, new person, it's exciting, honeymoon stage, love it, I love it here, and then you have the climax, it's exciting, you're both in love, it's great, and then you start having to fight for it. And it's like a sport. It comes easy to you, but then you got to fight for it. Or there might be setbacks, and that's okay. But if it comes to an end, that's also okay. That just means something else is coming. And I think it's really cool to refer to life like that. Because I did end a relationship this past summer, and I did not think I would be getting into another one. And I really didn't, but I looked at it more of, all right, let's take everything from that and learn from it. And overall, I think that really helped. Thinking about the good things instead of the negative has definitely been a plus in my life. I would constantly be thinking, what was me? What's going to happen in the future? And it wasn't until I kind of forced myself to look at things in the present like all right here we go let's take on this challenge was to when I actually started to become happier in my life and that was a big wake-up call wake-up calls wait let me tell you this more about this summer I have been going to this camp for like 10 years and a lot happened I'm not gonna get into specifics because I have a pretty good reputation, and I don't want that to be bummed out, but some things happen, and to this place where I really loved it as a kid, 
it just turned into something really stressful for me. And I had to look at it like, all right, who are we here for? And the answer was the kids. And I found myself thinking, am I having fun? Am I getting any enjoyment out of this other than everyone else's enjoyment? And I sat there and I don't like thinking about things. That's my least favorite thing to do is thinking about feelings because then you're forced to think about it. But you need to do it sometimes. And I found myself thinking, all right, I'm not getting anything out of this, am I? This is all just for other people and not for me. If I'm not having a good time, is it worth it? I know I'm making an impact on the world, but am I making an impact on myself? And it might not make sense what the next thing I'm going to say is that if I'm not making an impact on myself, am I really making an impact on the world? Because you think, all right, other people are happy. I must be happy because of other people being happy. But is that something I really enjoy? Huh. And I talked to my therapist about this too. And she was like, you're spot on. Did your past relationship, did you do any, do you get anything out of it? I was like, well, yeah, a really cool person. And she was like, did it bring you any personal happiness? And I was like, I guess. But I don't know. Because you get these butterflies, and anyone who's been in a relationship understands the butterflies. But I think that's the biggest life lesson that I learned from it. And that was the closing of that chapter. I found myself at this closing campfire that this camp does, and I was singing, and I saw everyone gathering around each other, putting their arms around each other, and I thought, hmm, this is a really cool scene but I'm making other people happy. And I had to check myself and I thought, all right, am I happy? And the answer was yes, but it was only from the happiness of others. What makes me happy is being silly and goofy and all that stuff. And sure, that was a happy moment for me, but I had to reflect and say, is this what I really wanna do for the next summers of my life? And I want to spend time with my friends. You'll hear me refer to my best friend, Morgan, all the time. Morgan is amazing. She's probably listening to this right now. She's my biggest fan. Love you. Um, I want to spend time with her. I want to go on adventures. And adventures make me happy. So maybe it's time for that adventure chapter. Maybe it's time for me to travel. It's time for me to explore. And that's pretty awesome. And it's a new chapter and it's a new storyline, but that doesn't mean my story as a whole is over. Speaking of like books, I think it'd be really cool to get a chapter book tattooed, even though I will not get a tattoo. My parents don't like tattoos. So that probably won't happen until I'm much, much older and can sustain myself or I just won't get any tattoos. But I think that'd be really cool. I think it has a really good message to it and a lot of people can relate and understand that. Also, you'll hear me like go off on tangents on this podcast. I have very bad ADHD, and that's something that I'm passionate about is ADHD, and it's part of the reason I'm becoming a teacher is because I want to help kids. I love helping. I love making others happy. It's just something about me, but everything connects to each other like a chapter book. I swear, perfect title for this episode, chapter book. Just the two words chapter book, not a chapter book. Your life is a chapter book. I don't know what I'm doing, but here's a chapter book. Just chapter book. Simplicity, great. Ah, next tangent, simplicity. Like Hamilton said, talk less, smile more. Actually, no, I think that was Aaron Burr. That was definitely Aaron Burr in the musical Hamilton. That's just something that my mom really likes, is that saying, talk less, smile more, don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. Um, She always says that. She's like, talk less, smile more, and just focus on the simple things, the facts, the understanding, all of that kind of stuff. So that's also something and that I've thought about, which we can talk about in a different day, but I'm definitely going to take that away, too, in this podcast. Is talking less 
but just taking the world in and not thinking about things too much because you might not enjoy them. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. Anyway, um, I think this episode is going to come to an end. But if anyone has more ideas or would like to do one of these episodes with me, I am more than happy to have you on. I have like three microphones that I purchased because I thought, you know what? Go big or go home. Let's go for it. Don't think about it. Just do it. So, yeah. Um, I will see you guys on the next episode of I Don't Know What I'm Doing. Thanks for listening. Um, Leave a like. Do what you want. Have a good day. Live in the present. Yeah. Bye-bye.